Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We're off to a quiet start this morning, but it's a bit chilly out there. Our temperature 43 degrees, a dew point of 34. So again, it's a cold one. Make sure to have the jacket or sweater as you step out the door this morning, but have a t-shirt or something on underneath because by the afternoon it's going to feel pretty nice out there with those high temperatures in the low 70s and lots of sunshine to go around when you're in the sun in particular. It will feel warmer than it actually is out there, so definitely an enjoyable day. Get outside and enjoy this weather however you can, even if it's just taking lunch outdoors today. It's going to be a nice one out there. The normal high temperature is 72 and that's exactly where we will be later on this afternoon. So a picture perfect fall day for us. And as we head into next week, we are going to see a warming trend. High temperatures all the way into the mid 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday. The record high in Tyler on Wednesday is 86 degrees, which was set back in 1915. Uh, we may be threatening that record, though, as we head into next week here, and we could even see some upper 80s in deep east Texas. The previous record in Lufkin for Wednesday is 89. I have a forecast of 87 right now for Lufkin, so we'll be getting pretty close to record highs until the cold front moves in and starts to knock down the temperatures. Overall, between Wednesday, November 8th and Sunday, November 12th, we are favoring above average temperatures across the area. However, I do think Think we will start to get cooler closer to the 12th. Uh, this not this Sunday, but the Sunday after that. And uh, overall, uh, still a warm weather pattern here for the next several days. We're also in a mostly dry weather pattern, but thankfully we saw all that rain earlier this week, and that has eliminated the drought now for a large portion of areas along and north of Interstate 20. However, drought does still continue out into deep east Texas, where we have levels of extreme and exceptional drought, the highest level four out of four in parts of Sabine and San Augustine counties. Taking a look at your seven day forecast now, we are going to see a dry weekend ahead for us, a beautiful weekend in fact. So if you have any outdoor activities planned, you are looking good to go. We're going to see those highs well into the 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then a chance for some showers returning on Thursday. Finally, as a cold front moves on through for deep east Texas, it is more of the same. Look for those warming temperatures into next week. We're all the way into the upper 80s by the day on Wednesday. It's going to get quite warm for this time of the year near record highs and then isolated showers return on Thursday.